Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. Uh, is it still a good laptop in 2023? Yes, so I've had it for more than a year. I recently used it on holiday as well, and I'm generally pleased. But there are some uh, drawbacks of this laptop. There are some quirks. So it's not a great laptop, but it's still very good. So who is this uh, laptop for? This one is for people who want to have a kind of a general use laptop or business use laptop, and also people who would like an option to play computer games or edit video, because you can get this uh, with uh, extra graphics cards. Now, if you don't want to play games or edit video, the graphics card built into the today's modern CPUs, the more than enough, you know, for everyday uh, jobs. So don't worry about getting extra graphics cards. But if you have a budget for it, it, it makes sense to spend, I don't know, 100, 200 extra pounds and get yourself uh, a better version. So, so do that. Um, 16 gigs of RAM minimum and 16 inches, I think it's a perfect size for a laptop. 17 inches, it's a little bit too large to carry and might be too heavy. Uh, however, if you per kind of, let's say, mostly work from home, 17 inches is an option. But I think this is a very good compromise. It's still good for working stationally, uh, working from home, and it's still good for carrying it in a backpack. Screen size also, uh, resolution-wise, 3K perfect resolution for this screen. Uh, 2.5K would also do, but 3K is perfect. 4K would be nice, but it would consume more uh, battery power, more energy, so that's a drawback. So 3K is a perfect compromise. Again, 16 gigs of RAM, that's a minimum today. 8 gigs is too slow. Uh, at 8 gigs, you will be kind of, um, you will experience a lot of slowdowns and hiccups, etc. 16 gigs is perfect. 32 would be better. If you can afford 32 gigs, go for it, but 16s is uh, more than enough for most people. Uh, so if you're not planning to do some heavy video editing or some other heavy work, 16 gigs, more than enough. Seriously, do not buy less than 16. 12, you, you, you can't buy 12, but you could do it yourself. 12, you know, configure it by connecting uh, other memory modules, replacing them. Uh, but 16, go for 16, all right? Now, the drawbacks, well, it's the touchpad. So the whole laptop is lovely and sleek, but the touchpad, it's still flaky. You know, uh, after a while it kind of stops working or, or it's really difficult to make the cursor move. Very inconsistent. A reboot helps. I sent it, uh, mine, my one, I sent mine one to uh, Dell. They replaced the pad for me. I got a report of what they did, very good report. And it became better but still it's playing up every now and then so i think it's an issue of software possibly both software and hardware i don't know it's, it's a funny thing i still love the keyboard uh, but the camera is atrocious as i mentioned in my previous video so don't really hope uh don't have any high hopes for the camera it, it's it's rubbish you know for video conferencing if you have a small screen that's fine but anything uh, other than that forget about it <laughs> use an external camera uh, so it's a great laptop on a budget so you can for 800 pounds you can get a really nice business laptop uh, all other competition i checked they don't really have any any good options. HP, okay, but they are a little bit more expensive. Um, so Dell has got at the moment still, after more than a year, is still the best option, in my opinion, for a kind of casual or business use laptop. So I still recommend it. It's not great. The battery life is okay. Five, six hours. So it's kind of a standard for most laptops. Um, what uh, manufacturers say, 10, 11 hours of use, just cut it in half and you will have more realistic time. Now, if you start playing games or editing um, video, then obviously this time will drop dramatically. So you will need to use a power supply uh, with the laptop um, because I don't think you can do more than maybe two hours of video gaming uh, or heavy uh, video editing, you know, two hours probably max, because it really does take a lot of power, you know, to use the, the extra graphics card. So, sleek, lovely laptop, uh, buy it, press the like button now, check the links below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.